Poe Prophecy Series 3 Volume 4. Now I've just looked at this again in the Hebrew, Daniel chapter 12, the early verses. I've again looked at it in the Hebrew and it's it's challenging to get the Hebrew words. They give you interpretations of the words of Hebrew in English. But it's, it's not easy to make sense of it. But I've, I'm trying my best. I'll read out in this NIV. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of the people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish such as has never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, the people shall be delivered. Everyone who was found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And so forth. Okay. What I sort of get from the Hebrew is that there shall be a time of trouble, and they shall be delivered from it. And in the Hebrew it says, from the time the nation began till that time, seems to be a thing. So there was an era, the, the time, the word there is, Eoth or Eoth or something like that, O T H. It's translated as era in a, in an interlinear that I've got online. The nation began about two thousand years before the time of Jacob's trouble starting. So the era ended when Michael stands watching over the sons of his, of Daniel's people. The era ended, I think, in nineteen forty eight when Israel became a nation again. So the era's the first era was about that long, the second era was about that long. So the nation began until that time, from that from that time of trouble to the Israel becoming a nation in 1948. Now, they shall awake. Many of those sleeping with dust of the earth shall awake. We have an example of someone sleeping with dust of the earth, Samuel, in scripture. Um, Saul, with the witch of Endor, called up Samuel from the dead. But he was sleeping in the dust of the earth. Why have disturbed me from my slumber? So he's sleeping in Sheol, as it were. It says that they shall in it says shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. That's what it says they shall awake. It doesn't say they shall be resurrected to physical life on earth. It says they shall awake. At the end of the chapter, Daniel shall rise for his reward. Now we see in Daniel chapter 7 that the Son of Man, who is potentially a symbol of the saints, approaches the Ancient of Days in heaven. So, they shall awake. Potentially fellows like Samuel just going up to heaven. They've been in Sheol in the dust of the earth, and after that time they're just going up to heaven. Potentially all it means. They shall awake. They've been woken up, and they've gone up to heaven. Maybe that's all it really means might not be a literal world to come where we're all coming back to life on earth. It might just be going up to heaven. It just doesn't get terribly specific in what it's saying. It doesn't say that it's on earth. Daniel chapter 2 is clear that the kingdom is on earth, but that was established at the midpoint, at the beginning of the time of trouble, that's when the kingdom was established. And as far as I am concerned, can tell that's the, the kingdom of Torah. I Israel's never gone astray into idolatry as a nation since that time. The kingdom's gone on. It's the kingdom of the Torah community of God, the kingdom of God. A spiritual thing, as it were, the word of power. The word of God's knowledge, the word of God's teaching. It has a physical manifestation in the, the land of Israel. But according to um, Leviticus 26, they can come in and go out of the, they can go into exile. It can always occur if they go astray as a nation. So the everlasting kingdom doesn't necessarily have an eternal physical land. They can come in of it and they can go out of it because that's Torah law. But as a spiritual kingdom, it endures eternally. So as I can understand, that's all you can 
say with absoluteness on what probably the kingdom is about. It's about Torah. The kingdom of God is where God has authority over people with Torah knowledge. That's the kingdom of God, the everlasting kingdom. It's not necessarily a physical thing on earth. Not necessarily a physical reality. And that the land of Israel is covenanted, but God's got a covenant with mankind with the rainbow covenant anyway. So it's the kingdom of Torah, which is everlasting. That will do for now.